I hang out here all day and just, I just watch the tiger run around. Do you, you don't have any like mental kind of thing that, can you look at her a certain well, way to scare now, her? Like she charged me, um, I was, and she stopped. Oh, sometimes I see she's ready to charge. I charge her right away. I guess the reverse, I charge her and she'll run. And just, it's gotta be a mind game because, okay. um, Physically, I don't stand a chance. When they're too big, she's still a baby. She's 220 pounds. She got another 110 pounds to go. Then what are you gonna do? Um, just keep her, breed her. I'm gonna have children with her. You know, a lot of people say the person that works off passion, that fights with passion, that works with passion, is the best person they do with their feelings and emotions. One day, you may not feel that feeling. And sometimes you're working with your passion and you're involved emotionally with something, and then you may see something or something may happen, and that emotion has changed on the matter because it's responding to that true. feeling. And then you no longer can perform at the, uh, the uh, pinnacle of your, of your feet. And that's how come I always think it's to be unemotional when you handle the situation because you can't be disturbed by anything because there's no emotion involved. You can't feel sorrow, you can't feel pity. It's nothing you feel. So the job has to be done. Look at this. It's so incredible. Tell us who this is. All right. This is, um... I was wrong. I said Napoleon. I was wrong. Yes. This is a, a gentleman by the name Jean Francisco Dessaline. He was a, a Haitian revolutionary when they were fighting against France, probably around 1802, around that period of time, when they regained their independence. Yeah, around 1802. And this is Alexander the Great. Oh. Um, this is um, Hannibal. And this is Genghis Khan. Oh. Genghis Khan, oh. the Mongolian chief. Yeah. So, are they guarding your pool? No, I just... <laughs> I just, um, I just enjoy, enjoy the history of it. But also, like, when you put, like, the symbol of something, you're kind of, you're kind of calling its energy to be there, too. I would say so. Yeah. The most, all these men were fierce warriors. Fierce and merciless. And I, I like that. I made this right here. This is like a little, what do you call it? A moat. Like, you see, in England, they had the little moats. I wanted a moat in front of my house too. It's a, you got you have a lot of s symbols of protection around you. Moats and stuff. You got to put alligators in there. That need to be protected. It's a yeah. cruel world out here. Mm -hmm. You know, Hemingway once said that men are meant are not meant to be defeated, just destroyed. And I believe that. I believe that. For ten years, nothing can discourage me. I refuse to be beaten. I refuse to lose in life.